everybody, my name is Holly Draper and I'm the creator of Shop Draped. Um, today I'm coming to you guys with a nice August series. Um, I am going to be working on outfits for my Caribbean trip that is coming up on September 1st. And I wanted to give you guys behind the scenes of um, how I'm designing each individual outfit. Um, so how many weeks are in August? Alright, well, <laughs> I think it's like four. So I will be coming up with uh, four individual outfits that I will be wearing in the Caribbean. Um, and you guys will see the pictures when I uh, get to the Bahamas. I'm super excited. So today what I'm going to be working on is a maxi dress. I am going to be using our famed... Our famed Nash print here. Yes, I am stealing from my store stash. Hey, it makes a great video. <laughs> no, I love this print. And um, this is basically a Java print. Let me stand up with it. This is a nice little Java wax print. I believe this is 46 inches long, if I'm not mistaken. It makes a perfect maxi dress. Bold, bold color. Um, awesome print. So I want this to be a dress. So here we go. So as I said before, this is a Java print. Um, and when you open up your fabric, you see that there are panels. Unfortunately, um, our fabric isn't folded into even panels. They're actually folded uh, basically into two panel halves. So I need two yards. So to get uh, even two panels, what I will do is I will cut two yards out and I will sew the, the two panels together and you'll have two even panels. You'll see at the end what I'm talking about. measuring time um, so what I'm doing here is I'm measuring my upper bust and my measurement actually turned out to be 40 inches and my second measurement is going to be my upper arm And my measurement turned out to be 14. Inches. So here I am getting ready to measure out the elastic for the sleeves. And as I said before, it is 14 inches. Remember, you're going to have to cut two pieces of elastic for both sleeves. Next, I am getting prepared to uh, cut elastic for my upper bust. Yeah. 
And as I said before, my upper bust is 40 inch inches, so I'm cutting out 40 inches of elastic. up um, a casing for the elastic and it's with this one inch so make sure that your fabric is folded over one inch and so so next we are going to be gathering um, our fabric so take the elastic for your upper bust attach a safety pin to the end and put it in the casing gathering your fabric please make sure that um, you close both sides of the casing by uh, back stitching and sewing each side closed Make sure that right sides are together and go ahead and stitch your fabric together. So as you guys can see, this is what we have going on so far. So you have the front panel. We spin you around. And you have the back panel. And now we're going to work on the arms. So unfortunately my camera cut out on me as I was cutting out the pieces for um, the sleeves. Uh, but the directions will be in the description bar below. So let's just move forward. So what I've done here is I have set my machine to a zigzag stitch. And I have folded over the top of my sleeve about one inch. And I back stitched once or twice that's good um, and I am pulling on my um, elastic as I'm sewing very very gently now I love the way that my sleeves turn out when I do this it's just easier for me to gather the fabric this way Now that I have finished gathering the sleeves, I am now hemming the sleeves. And now that I'm done hemming, I am putting I put right sides together and sewing the sleeves together. Sleeve ends together. As you can see, I um, have already pinned one sleeve onto my dress, so I'm going ahead and pinning my other sleeve onto the dress. I'm simply placing um, 
first I'm pinning in the middle and then I'm pinning on either side of that original pin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try on the dress, make sure that the sleeves fit correctly. Um, if not, I'll make any adjustments before I sew. And um, I'll get back on the sewing machines and sew exactly where my pins are. And from there, your dress is finished. You guys enjoyed this tutorial um, I can't wait to wear this dress in the Bahamas um, it's really I made this dress bigger than usual because I like to feel the wind um, inside my clothing and it's more like a lounge dress it's something that I will wear like on the beach or if I'm just getting up in the morning to go get breakfast um, if I wanted to stroll around Nassau, that's what this kind of dress is. Um, I'm not going to wear this to a formal dinner. Um, it's, it's really a lounge dress, so that's why it's, it's bigger and it definitely has a lot of room. <laughs> um, it makes a perfect cover-up as well. Um, so I'm excited to wear this dress when I'm in Nassau. This video definitely give us a thumbs up. Uh, comment what you think below. Um, would you wear this dress to the Bahamas? Would you wear it to the Caribbean? Or would you wear it anywhere? <laughs> definitely follow us on Instagram, sewnupandraped.com or you can follow our main store which is shopdraped.com. Until next time guys, see you next week!